The uncovered ache exercise we'll be creating is a collage, a very old art technique dating back to the 10th century. Torn or cut up paper glued together on a surface. A famous artist you might know is Matisse. Here's some of my artwork using that technique. As you can see, there's endless possibilities to this art form. I'm going to share my process, steps, and techniques and how I created my vision art cover. Hopefully, yours is going to look very different and represent your personal story. Use this as inspiration to get started. Let's go over the art supplies you'll need. A vision art journal, magazines, books, or advertisements, decoupage glue, a paintbrush, scissors, acrylic paint. I told you I love creating art using collage. Yes. I have my own color palette of paper already separated, but you don't have to do this to get started. I recommend grabbing some colorful magazines. Fashion magazines have great color ads. When you're looking through magazines, look at the ad captions. Yep, I have them already cut out too. But again, you don't have to do that. Just cut them out as they resonate with your story. I chose a page that covers my whole journal cover. I figured out the direction I wanted it to face, but it was too big. Make sure the part of the image you want is centered on the cover before you cut it down. You can either use a full page like I did, or use multiple images that speak to you. Using the decoupage glue, cover the whole back of the page. Be sure to completely cover each page or image with glue to secure it to the cover. Once you've created the background, you can decide where do you want to take it from here. I call collage work painting with paper, so I tend to cut and tear pieces of paper from magazines to create my color palettes. At this point, you start to formalize some ideas and play with the layout. This is where you get a chance to explore. This is my technique and how I literally paint with paper using a paintbrush. You can manipulate paper and create all kinds of textures. This is how I create curly hair for Afro styles. Choose the color of paper you want and cut round circles. They don't have to be perfectly round. Cut them into spiral shapes that create a coil. You can see that here. I also love fashion. It tends to be a part of my artwork. So I look for ways to incorporate it and show that part of myself. This is where you can choose colorful pattern papers. You can find them all throughout fashion magazines. I love to manipulate them into clothing. This is going to be my top. Collage is a forgiving art medium. You can place images and move them around before you commit to gluing them down. But even if you do that, you can totally change your direction and layer other images on top of each other. That's what I did here. Instead of pieces of paper, I decided to use a full silhouette. You can Google a clip art image of a silhouette you want and print it out. Depending on your background, decide whether to cut on the black or leave the white border around the image so that it stands out. It's time to glue it down. Be sure to spread the decoupage medium all over the back of the silhouette to make sure it sticks and stays. This is especially important because it's going on top of other layers. Then cover the top with more decoupage glue. This protects the image and really secures it. Well, where I started and where I ended up look very different. I probably went through three different directions with this vision art journal cover before reaching my final destination. Sounds like life for real. The lesson is move through the process, flow with your heart, accept what it is here to offer you. My cover ended up being a self-portrait, a strongly defined image that represents not only my strength and resolve, but my uniqueness. I look forward to you sharing your cover. See you in the next lesson.